Hey everyone and welcome to another Tool Talk. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button if you think you're going to like this channel. And at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, please hit a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And as always, I love reading y'all's comments, whether it be about this tool or anything else that I talk about during the video. Uh, just please leave them below and I look forward to reading them. So, the tool today is going to be the new-ish uh, Stanley Sweetheart number 92 shoulder plane. As you can see, there are two boxes, and there's a good reason for that, and I want to talk about that in the close-up right now. Alright, so as you can see, there are two boxes, and I kind of want to talk about that right off the bat. So, in the last video I posted, I did it on the Stanley Sweetheart Low Angle Jack Plane, and I couldn't compliment it more as far as its price point, and it's just a really good starter plane. So, when Home Depot ran a sale on these on their website, and I'll put the link in the description below if you do want to get one. Uh, I don't believe the sale is still going on, but they're on sale for $60. And if you've ever priced, say, Lee Nelson or Veritas, their shoulder planes equivalent are a bit more expensive. The Lee Nelson comes in at $195, and the Veritas comes in at $209, or if you get the optional PMV 11 upgrade, it's $219. So you're probably wondering, with such a big price difference, obviously there's going to be a quality difference, and I really hoped that that wasn't the case. So talked about this little spot right here. The made in fill in the blank. In this case, it's China. The other tools are made in Mexico, and their quality has been pretty remarkable for their price point. This is where the road ends. So this was the first one. I got so we're gonna look at that first I have never used this plane by the way it comes wrapped up like this like a little baby and a oiled piece of paper and then in the bottom are the instructions and so here is the plane as you can see the brass is kind of tarnished it looks kind of honestly unfinished uh, it's just kind of rough it's, it looks like it's been kind of chewed on the finish, if it'll catch it in the camera, is marred up. It's actually pitted in some spots. And I was a little disappointed in that. The brass just looks aged. But, I mean, it's $60. So I thought, you know, it is what it is. As long as it functions properly, then that's great. But... That is just the beginning. So you unscrew this, and it slides right off, and here is your uh, assembly. So what's really nice about a shoulder plane, especially when it comes apart like this, is if you're using it to get into a corner, you can, because the blade is flush to its sides, and you can get right up to it. I had it apart, and I tried to adjust the blade depth. It was backed out, kind of similar to this, and it would not for the life of me move so I thought I'll loosen this and it still would not move and it does not come out easily still to this day but I will put this to the side take the blade out like that and you probably will not be able to see it but in here was completely rusted and there's still a little bit of trace rust left and the whole thing had seized up the whole entire everything the guide uh, just it was locked up and it took me forever to get it all out eventually I did and I put it all back together and I found that there was actually it was just unfinished there was a burr that was in here that actually sliced my finger pretty, pretty, I mean, it bled like a stuck pig, like most plain blade cuts would, or metal burr cuts would. But, I thought, you know, 
it's sixty dollars I can clean it up so I put it back together like so and I left the blade back just a hair so from what I'm about to do I don't freak anybody out put this on and if you'll watch thunk it bottoms out so that really disappointed me again so if you're not extremely careful you will just fold over your nicely sharpened edge all of that said I I was just a little disappointed so I emailed Stanley and told him what was up and I wanted to give him a chance to kind of redeem themselves from maybe this was just a lemon uh, and nothing I refrained from leaving my review for a month and a half but their silence was just I don't know it was a bit unprofessional so I went ahead and left a one star review due to just it's it's just not a good tool it's unfinished so eventually two months later I got this one in so Stanley's support team eventually got to me and apologized and said what is your address we'll send you a new one and this is it free of charge replacement I didn't have to send the new one back or the previous one back comes nice and wrapped up the same manner and then the finish if it will show up is honestly worse than the first one I mean it's just I really hope y'all can see this but it, it looks used and it was in saran wrap like it was sealed in plastic so I knew it was new so that goes to tell me that their quality control there is just not what it should be um, the brass is still just kind of tarnished and you might notice let me move this one light coming through there because there's a gap this bed is not ground flat so when you apply pressure to this piece right here screwing from the top you could potentially uh, you're putting stress on the blade that's unneeded whereas the other one the first one they actually got that part right it sits completely flush so there's one thing that shows quality control is not their finest what they did fix is it cannot hit the blade which is great another thing is the blade is incredibly sharp if Stanley got one thing right it is this blade it is I mean ready out of the box as far as sharpness is concerned it is A2 steel grounded at a 25 degree bevel and it's labeled and then its part number is there in case you needed to order another one I guess that's great but if you put it on a tool that doesn't function properly then it's kind of pointless so I did end up tuning this one up and I responded to Stanley and let him know hey I got the tool in and it seems that it is in completely working order uh, but the finish is just poor uh, and if there is a way that I can give a comment somewhere to someone to just say hey this is what I thought of the plane could you route me to them I would really appreciate to give a uh, positive criticism as far as like a critique on the tool and what they could probably do better in the future and what they're doing good right now as all other tools have this little etching of the sweetheart logo and what the tool is 
I'll do a little side by side as you can kind of see the difference in finish as far as it's just I don't know I just am not happy so is this one functional you might see some sawdust yes it is actually square to this face so if I'm going at it and I have a shoulder that I need to ride on if I go from this face it is true it will cut the groove this face does not seem to be as square to the bottom so I guess it is a right-sided plane so these tools yes they are sixty dollars and you might be lucky and win the lottery and get one that is perfectly fine but for a tool that is kind of a specialty tool I don't know I can't it took me two months to get this one and it still wasn't that great it's still not that nice especially because I've seen what Stanley can do so this is just I, I have no words for it. I'm, it's just a disappointment, Stanley. Uh, I think you could have done better. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not getting paid to give this information out. I, I paid for it, and I guess I'm still paying for it because I have two tools now that only work halfway. If you're on a budget, I think you should hold off on that. I think you should go to a place where you can hold... Uh, one of the competitors planes or buy an old Stanley off of eBay not the new ones it really makes me just sad actually that this was the best that they could come up with especially since their other tools I've had such good luck with so I know these were sixty dollar tools and so I'm asking a lot out of them but I really want to just kind of remind y'all that their other sweetheart tools for my experience has been remarkable they've been really great and they didn't really cut corners at all so that's it for these guys uh, if you've had any troubles with them or if you got lucky and got a good one please let me know in the comments I'd really appreciate it alright so I've talked about both of these little guys and I kind of shared my input on them, got to vent a little. Needless to say, I was actually really disappointed in this tool. I have almost every tool in the Stanley Sweetheart line aside from their number four smoother. And I've been really impressed with them. Their low angle jack, it's a great starter plane if you're just getting into it. So I was actually really disappointed in both of these tools. I figured that maybe the first one was just a lemon in the batch but come to find out it's not there's it's just disappointing maybe someone out there has had better luck than i have but judging by these two and the plethora of reviews online i am not the only one with any or all of these problems if you compare the quality of these to the low angle jack the block plane and the chisels that Stanley makes uh, I own all of them and have for a while now the only difference I can find is like I stated previously the made in China stamp on this box versus the made in Mexico stamped on the other boxes other than that that's the only consistency I have found uh, and just disappointed in Stanley's response uh, I felt like I was uh, a lot more lenient than other people that had left pretty wordy reviews and I can't recommend this tool I, I just can't shoulder plane is kind of a specialty tool and it's not something you just have to have right off the bat and so while you are accumulating your tools I honestly would recommend uh, the Lee Nelson or the Veritas uh, I hope to do a review on both of those upcoming soon uh, if I can get my hands on them. I've used both of them 
And honestly, it's going to come down to personal preference because they are both remarkable tools and about the same price point as I mentioned before. So that's all I got on these guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Until then, see ya.